Hello and welcome back to Western Washington History. Today we will be discussing the town of Bremerton on the Kitsap Peninsula. As with every story, we will start at the beginning so this film will not cover everything about this town and its rich history. Instead, we will give you the foundation we can build on in videos to come later. Bremerton sits on land once inhabited by the Suquamish people. Suquamish meaning place of clear salt water. They would hunt and fish the area and at Manette they would have races and other forms of entertainment. They had many villages in the area, but the biggest was at Port Madison on Bainbridge Island at a place called Old Man's House. Life was mostly peaceful for the Suquamish. Their biggest concern was northern natives coming down with a lot of canoes and taking their people for slaves as well as looting and robbing their belongings. One account tells of a group who learned how to throw rocks very well and when the tribe from British Columbia showed up, they assaulted their canoes with rocks and broke holes in their boats. Out of a hundred canoes, only three returned to tell the tale. When the settlers came from over the Cascades after the 1846 Treaty of Oregon drew the United States and Canadian border at the 49th parallel, the natives had a whole new problem. For the most part, the natives were friendly to the settlers in this area. Chief or Chief Seattle, as the settlers called him, was a great chief who led with diplomacy. People who heard him speak said he did so with grace and would capture everyone's attention. He knew the time of his people being the dominant force in the area was short, and he expressed this in some of his speeches. He would sign the Treaty of Point Elliot in 1855. It would still be years after that that they received their compensation in the land that was agreed to. That land is what we now know as the Suquamish Reservation at Port Madison on Bainbridge Island. Land was sold or taken by settlers and the government. Some of it has been given back over the years, but that is for another video. Bremerton lies in Kitsap County, formed in 1857 by parts of Jefferson and King County. Originally named Slaughter County after Lieutenant William Slaughter, who had died in battle in 1855, when the residents first voted in 1857, they voted on a name. The choices were Mill, Madison, or Kitsap. They chose Kitsap after the mighty war chief, Chief Kitsap. Kitsap meaning brave. There were other towns already on the Kitsap Peninsula, such as Kingston, Paulsbo, Sydney, and Port Madison, which housed the county courthouse at the time. William Bremer came to the United States from Germany. He soon found himself in Seattle where he worked as a real estate agent. He moved to Charleston and opened a real estate office there. In 1888, he heard that the U.S. Navy was going to build a new shipyard at Point Turner, and he realized that they would need homes and businesses for the people working there. Harry Hensel, his business partner, and him bought the land for $200 an acre, which was an outrageous price. This land had been part of the homesteads of Warren Smith and Theodore Williams. A small part of the land was clear, but most of it was logged off timberland with stumps every In 1891, Bremer sold 190 acres for $50 an acre to Lieutenant Ambrose Wyckoff, and that was the original Puget Sound Naval Station, or PSNS. I read articles from the time calling it the government's dry dock. By 1893, they had a ferry dock for regular rides to Seattle and beyond. The area was growing, and in 1898 it became time for some sort of law enforcement. A clerk for Nibble's store, named Grumpy Hogan, was hired as part-time peacekeeper. Also a sheriff from across the water in Sydney was assigned to the town. In 1901, Bremerton became an official town and was incorporated. A.L. Croxton was the first mayor. Also that year, neighboring Charleston established a post office. The postmaster owned a mill, and where the Evergreen Rotary Park is now, he started burning the trash wood from the mill to generate electricity for the town. In 1909, Bremerton Charleston Light and Fuel Company was started near the 9-11 Memorial. Sometime in the 1930s, there was a gas works plant between Thompson and Philadelphia streets on the water. These were used to turn coal into gas for lights and heating and pipes were run to each house. Robberies, prostitution, and drug use forced the Navy to move all ship repairs to Mare Island Navy Yard in California in 1902. The city passed an ordinance to shut down all bars in Bremerton. The Navy came back to Bremerton, but within two years the bars were back. 
By 1904, Bremerton had everything a little town needed, and sometimes two of them. They had a Masonic Hall, a Eagles Club, billiard halls, a steam laundry, coal dock, telegraph office, hotels, sawmill, planing mill, many churches, printing company, photo shop, docks, boat building, barbers, plumber, cigar store, drug store, shooting gallery, and so on. Nearly all the first homes were built with lumber from the Bender Fellows Mill in Bremerton, seen here in 1906. Here is a photo of the William Geweiler Taylor Shop in 1906. This is a photo of a typical Bremerton cabin built quickly for some new resident, unknown the exact year. The Union High School was opened in 1909, as well as a library. It was needed for the nearly 3,000 residents. By 1920, that number would swell to 8,918 due to World War I. The shipyard now had 4,000 employees. In 1909, the town finally had regular mail service. Edwin S. Keith owned the Bon Marche in Bremerton in 1909. It is unclear what year it was opened. William Bremer passed away in 1910 at the age of 60. This is a photo of 3rd and Burwell Street in 1910. Here is a photo of Bremerton Department Store and the St. James Hotel also in 1910. And another of the Kitsap County Transportation Company's office on Pier 3 in 1910. At some point, an auto bus, as they called it, was running from Bremerton to Clifton, or Belfair, as it is now known, and ending in Allen. This was operating in 1915, and by 1920, there was a stage going to Shelton from Bremerton. In 1926, there was a Bremerton to Tacoma bus. They must have taken the ferry over as the first bridge had not been built. In 1916, the federal government, in a long debated question, voted for money to turn PSNS into a battleship building facility and not just a repair depot. Also that year, ferry service from Bremerton to Manette began. In 1918, the town of Manette was annexed and now a part of the fast-growing Bremerton. There was a big snowstorm in 1916. Here is a photo of the snow built up. You can see the sign from Searchlight newspaper on the other side of the road. Here is a drawing from the air in 1917. You can see the different plats. The photo of the inside of the Palace Cafe, also in 1917. Another school, called Washington School, was built in 1919 on Burwell Street. The new city hall was built in 1920. Here is a photo of the ferry dock in 1920, and another photo of First and Pacific Avenue in 1920. In this photo, they are making a road, unknown what year it is. And here we have Pacific Avenue in the 1920. Another snowstorm hit in 1925. Also from 1925 is a look into an unknown store in Bremerton. In 27, Charleston is annexed and becomes Bremerton. That helps push the population to over 10,000 by the 1930 census. In 1930, a wooden bridge was built to connect the neighborhood of Manette to the rest of the city. A large group turned out for the opening. It was replaced by a steel bridge in 1949 and then replaced again in 2011. Remember, this is only part one. Please watch for the next part of the story from this big little town.